What's going on YouTube? You're Till with Bokey Bokesen. And today, just want to give a quick apology for the uh, lack of videos in the past couple weeks. I've been working with my sister to help her with her channel and videos, so I have her here to, you know, just give her a quick rundown and advertise what her channel is. So in my channel, what I'll be doing is featuring a lot of speed paints and artworks, both uh, stuff that I that comes out of my head and with uh, uh, fan art from video games and anime and manga and stuff like that. So uh, if you're interested in looking at all of that, go ahead and pop on over and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see some fun stuff. All right, so be sure to check out her channel and let's go ahead and continue with Bravely Second. You know, I saw in the comments in a couple previous video, or in the previous video, that you guys thought you heard, like, the Bravely Second, or the, yeah, the Bravely Second noise, and I was just, I was kind of thinking to myself, huh, I wonder if it was, and I had to go back and, a transmission from Fatloon. oh, never mind, apparently they're going to, uh, they're going to tell us what's going on. Appleberry, what's going on? I was hoping you could tell me, Magnolia. We picked up a massive SP reading from Luxendorf just now. Wait, what? An SP reading. SP. Yeah. Wait, no, that's job points. SP, I'm thinking of like as Fire Heroes. What the fuck? SP? From Luxendorf? The numbers were completely off the charts. You don't know anything about it. We saw a huge beam of light just now. Could that be? A beam of light, you say? Hmm. We'll need to know more. Investigate it, Bald Buster. Roger that. I'll notify you once I've learned more. You know, with the m amount of compressing they do with the female on? voices, SP readings? it's kind of like, it's kind of amazing how, how well detailed that, um, voice was. Just for it, it like, obviously it wasn't, um, I'm sure it was like compressed or something, but it was compressed in a way that you could, that, when you, if you're wearing headphones, it really feels like you're talking to someone on a radio. You remember the energy stored in my hourglass, right? That's SP. Oh, it is. Okay. So, never mind. That is SP. What does that even stand for? The instruments on the moon detected an SP energy signature. A big one. Meaning there's someone in Luxendark other than us who can control SP? It would appear so. But... My hourglass is a guarded treasure of the moon. There shouldn't be anything like it here. I mean, Anya's had one in the last game, so... It doesn't have any connection to SP that I know of, but why don't we ask around Florum? It's not far from here. Yeah, Good sure idea. it isn't. Maybe someone there will know something. I highly doubt that, but I like your optimism. An attack? Impossible! <laughs> I must deny that claim. There is nothing impossible in this world. Aren't we carefree? Well, I'll tell you what else is possible if they hit us again. We'll go down in flames. Did the blast rouse our little scamp from slumber? Wouldn't that be peachy? I'll reinforce the seal before we find ourselves in an even stickier situation. <sighs> what a bother. I suppose we'll have to hide out in the mountains for a while. Hiding will bring us no closer to our objective. We must unmask the villain who attacked us. Villain? More like hero. We're quite near to Florum, land of radiant flowers. As a stronghold of crystallism, I consider it suspect. If your loyal lieutenant might beg a boon, please entrust the task of investigating it to me. Indeed. But your request is denied. Your Majesty... There is another better suited to the task. Another? You cannot mean to unleash Geist. Wait, isn't that the... The guy we saw in the, uh, demo? I would not question your majesty, but... Is he not too... Unpredictable? His methods are inhumane. The threat to innocent bystanders. It is his inhumane talents that will find the one responsible for this. Now is exactly the time to use him. Anna, let Geist take his pick of soldiers and dispatch him to Florum at once. <laughs> With pleasure, your majesty. Your majesty, are you sure this is wise? 
Knowingly putting innocence in harm's way? Sire, I must repeat myself for good measure. Your objections are duly noted, Nikolai. I bear full responsibility for any evil. Wow, he sounds like just... He sounds like just like an... A, what, a, what thing is it? I can't remember. God, I can't think of the word off the top of my head, but it's like... Uncaring or just going along, he's like he's like he's condescending, Nikolai. Furthermore, if I sent you to Florum, who would tend to our wounded here? <sighs> the consummation of our struggle is at hand. All right, now where did we land? Oh, I want to look in here. All right, what is it? Nothing. Literally nothing. There's no prompt to go anywhere. Wow. Fuck off. <laughs> Goddamn cock tease. Uh, should I go to the temple first? I kind of want to go to the... Or shrine. Whatever it's called. I kind of want to go over to the temple first. It's not over here. Where is it? I remember it being around here somewhere. Over here? Yeah, here we go. And I can't go in here either. What the hell is happening? Well, whatever. Let's see if Florum's, like, cleaned up its act. Ha, Viera. I wish they were in this game. Land of Radiant Flowers. Man, I really hope it cleaned up. I've always wanted to visit Florum. It truly is as radiant as they say. A beautiful land of flowers where only women can live. Nourished by the pristine waters of the water crystal. What a day de fleur. I've never seen a city bloom so beautifully. Ah, oh, when was the last time everyone was this stirred up? Don't slow down now! Come on, let's get back to staging! Staging? Oh, is that festival happening again? Staging for what? You don't think... Let's go find out. I don't think what? Staging for a battle? Alright, before we do anything, I want to look at the weapon shop. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Wait, I have that equipped? Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Did I find... Oh, I finally have something that's... Oh my god, I find... Oh! Okay, I can use it to recover HP. I think it just casts Cure, but... At the same time, there's still nothing... That's stronger than Nikolai's staff that I got at the beginning. Okay, did we get a better gun? Oh, we did! I'll go ahead and pick that up. Hmm. I really want to see if though if I can like if if those bastard swords come at it, come with a use. Like I imagine Idea's father would be using one. Adamant shield, this is actually stronger. Now, who uses shields? Uh, does Tiz? No. Well, he does when he's using his knife. So, I'll go ahead and pick up three. Helms. Ah, I could shop later. I just wanted to see the uh, good and bad equipment that was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually gonna save here because this has been a while in between games. I've I've literally had my 3DS up on my bookshelf with it just closed with the power plugged in, just so I could keep so I could keep to the current spot in the game. Oh, thank goodness! Now I need to save again. All right, yeah, I don't I won't have to restart from a, any certain point. Ooh, spells! That's what I should be looking at. Oh man, mine. Spellbird swords full. Mine. 
Spirit. A spell that does minor non elemental dam damage to all foes. Alright. Spell that boosts ability success rate for target. Hmm. And yes, Elemental Mirror! I love it! Got some good spells this time around. Good spells. Now, if we're if what happened in the last game in this game, there's gonna be some kind of popularity contest. Remember, many hands make light work. Yep. We're on it. That's right. The sacred flower festival is around this time of year. The sacred flower. You mean there's gonna be another festival? Yep. Every year, Florum holds a pageant to recognize the most beautiful girl in the nation. All the girls who think they deserve that title enter, but only one can win. Mm-hmm. First goldfish scooping, now a beauty contest? Life in Luxendark is so exciting! Yeah, but that only about once a year. Idiot, don't give Magnolia the wrong idea. The Sacred Flower Festival is a religious tradition. The people of Florum choose a pure maiden to pray for good harvest that year. Though at some point, looks did seem to become the deciding factor. If I might interrupt, you're wrong about that. It's true that things did get a bit superficial, but everything changed two years ago. Thank God! Now we're really looking for inner beauty. And that's not all. It may once have been a competition for girls, but we're even letting men compete this year. Oh no! In addition to choosing a flower maiden, this festival will have a bloom groom too. That's very witty. I actually approve of this. A bloom Grum. So that explains it. I thought there were a lot more men around than usual. You hear that, you? Boys can enter too. How about it? Me? No, thank you. I'm no good at being in the spotlight. I think it's a fantastic idea, you. You're sure to win. Why does everyone pick on you? I wouldn't stand a chance. Tis, on the other hand. He has the inner qualities they want. Plus rugged good looks to boot. He'd be a shoe in Come on, you. Now you're making me blush. Besides, you won't catch me up there in some skimpy outfit. Look at what you're wearing. What about a skimpy outfit? Uh, well, when it was a contest for girls, most of them wore outfits that showed off their, um... Physical assets? Well put. It sounds like things have changed, but I figure the entrants still dress racy. I see. I definitely should sit this one out. Don't write yourself off so quickly. The competition is open to all who are interested. No pre-registration required. Well, uh, at any rate, I guess the people here didn't have anything to do with the attack on the Skyhold. Then who did? Let's at least check with the matriarch. She's in charge here, so if anyone knows what's going on, it'll be her. But no one knows what's going on. Just over there. Your logic is flawed. No one knows what's going on. Therefore, she wouldn't either. I'm just gonna run around for fun. I wonder... If I put them in the bunny suits and then had them go up in that contest... Would that factor in? That'd be interesting if it's like you choose your you, you like you choose your job and then you send them up there and then they kind of it kind of influences if you can win or lose or not. Like obviously like all of them could lose but say if you had um if you had uh, one of the girls in the bunny outfit or maybe the guy one of the men in well like Tiz how he's got the uh, shamanist shamanist I can't remember the class name Hawkeye class the ho the Hawkeye clothes. What's up, big lady? How you doing? Lady Matriarch, it's a pleasure to see you again. Master Tiz and Miss Idia, welcome back to Florum. How might I be of assistance to you today? We were wondering if you had any idea who attacked that flying fortress. I fear I do not. Many saw that light arcing through the heavens, but we have no idea where it came from. Darn. I guess we ought to fill you in on the situation while we're here. That flying fortress is called the Skyhold. 
and it's under the control of this Kaiser Yahoo who also kidnapped Anyas. I didn't know the Kaiser used the internet. Kind of an outdated browser, though. And now it looks like his next target is the water crystal. A troubling turn of events, indeed. We must take swift action. Whoa! Her eye- I could actually see the bulge in her eyes when she was- when she went wide-eyed. We shall invoke a shield around the crystal at once. Sylvie, come here, child. This is our Vestaling, Sylvie. Once her shield protects the crystal, it will be beyond the reach of any human hand. Except on yes. In that case, Sylvie, how would you like to come along to the Temple of Water with us? Aw, she's so shy. Well, with that, I think we're going to call it an episode. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.